Grimmis Foul was directed by Kenneth Brana in uh, Arnimus Foul. Arnimus Foul, Arnimus Foul, Arnimus Foul. Uh, So the film tells the story about Artemis Fowl II, a 12-year-old criminal mastermind who is on a quest to save his father from a, a, a criminal fairy. And they're trying to gain this MacGuffin that will eventually gain this fairy unlimited power, and this is the plot. And also there is a fairy of armies that are led by Judy Dench, so much wasted talent went into this movie, and not to mention that this uh, the film's budget was $125 million, and it's being dumped on Disney+. Plus. And I can see why. I really can see why. And trust me, I have not gotten way into my issues with the movie. We'll get there, don't worry. Mostly, I mean, now when it comes down to the movie's runtime, uh, 94 minutes, even at that runtime, though, this movie does something right in the wrong way possible, and that it is boring, and it's painful to sit through. Uh, I'm happy that I didn't see this in theaters. I mean, theaters are... Uh, uh, the, well, there's only one theater opening uh, that's near my area, and it's the Baxter Avenue Theater. Um, uh, uh, a quick side note, I mean, like, theaters are slowly opening, well, with things semi calling down. Keyword being semi, but uh, all things aside, uh, mostly when it comes to Artemis Fowl, I can't even call this a good film. Mostly when it comes to this film, I mean, this is of course based off of a popular book series, which I had not read back then, mostly from my childhood. Um, I remember reading the Harry Potter books a lot and those I mostly paid attention to. I never really, uh, mostly Artemis Fowl, the, the Artemis Fowl books never really caught my eye for some reason. And, I'm kind of intrigued to read the books now uh, and see how it is compared to this film. Mostly when it comes to the film, it's a major disappointment and a waste of such good talent, especially with some performances. I mean, mostly from, I mean, especially when you have like uh, actors like Colin Farrell and of course Judy Dench, they look like they're just there for the paycheck and nothing else. And... Especially, like I said, this this movie costs $125 million to make, and it's, and you, I mean, especially when it's this short, it is really boring. I remember being, like, 30 minutes into the movie, and I was trying my best to be invested, but I wasn't. It's... <sighs> The fight scene with uh, the fairy and the troll, that was, well, it was an action sequence, but not a very good action sequence. But uh, let's talk about this fairy. She is a fairy who is part of this, say, police force, uh, a, a police force uh, that's consisted of like magical creatures like uh, fairies and centaurs and she's also on a side mission to, uh, she's on a quest of her own to clear her father's name who um i'm gonna get into some minor plot details and some spoilers and so that if you haven't seen the movie yet that is your warning so she's on a quest to clear her father's name because she uh, I mean, for all her life, she's been told that, uh, that she, uh, that her father was a criminal, and while in truth, uh, he was in league with Artemis Fowl Sr. to protect this MacGuffin that, I mean, holds, like, extreme great power, and if it fell into the wrong hands, 
it could basically mean the end of the world, basically. And uh, so Ar uh, Artemis Fowl II is trying to uh, get this as a bargaining chip to uh, get whoever's, uh, I mean, this, uh, well, the, the villain is very forgettable. I, uh, because he, rem uh, the villain, she remains in the shadows throughout most of the film. And I get that they're trying to build up suspense and make her intimidating, but I cannot find her that much intimidating. And she's forgettable in this film. <sighs> like I said, I feel intrigued to read the books because after watching the film, I just can't, uh, I don't know if I can, I'm not sure if I can even make a comparison. <sighs> even when the movie is trying to be dramatic at times, throughout like some of the movie, it just dumps, ex uh, it just dumps exposition and just tries to shove it down our throats to the point where they're, like the filmmakers are at them like, they're just trying to explain everything to us like we're fucking children like with drool hanging out of our mouths. That's kind of how I felt throughout most of the movie while, while I was watching it. I think I kind of did drool because I fell asleep on one scene. Uh, good thing I remembered where I was so I can finish watching the movie so I can do this review. But... Mostly, it's there are there are moments where I try to get invested, even when it's trying to be more dra dramatic, and even one scene where it's trying to get so emotional, and it's just it's just this this acting, it's just and the cinematography. Some of it works, some of it doesn't. And mostly, it comes down to some... It, there are some where it can get a bit shaky and this slow-mo effect, whatever that bullshit was. It's just... I don't know what the hell they were thinking. Some of the visual effects, I mean, uh, some of them work, some of them don't. The troll looked hilariously awful and there is a giant dwarf played by Josh Gad that's right Olaf himself and this effect where he tries to like widen his jaw I'm like what the sweet hell am I watching that's just uh that almost made me laugh it's just <sighs> As for Ferdia Shaw, who played Artemis Fowl II, I really wanted to get invested in this performance, but it's just... His acting needs work, and I really wish the best for him, because I hate to trash actors, but I really do wish the best for him. And I mean that out of gener uh, generosity. It's just... Honestly, this kid needs a better agent. So overall, it's... I mean, Artemis Fowl, it's a giant mess. It's boring, and... Even when you're trying to get invested, you'll still find it boring. And you'll be asking, Why did I waste 94 minutes of my life just watching this film? And I still end up scratching my head, asking myself that question. I don't think it's obvious that I have to tell you. I'm gonna give Artemis Fell an F. <coughs> so yeah, another disappointing movie for 2020. Uh, so many new releases I want to see. Uh, two have been delayed. Um, of course, I'm talking about Tenet, which has been pushed back further in July, and one that has pissed me off was 
Wonder Woman 1984. I mean, at first it was original. I mean, it was originally supposed to come out last year in November. Then it got pushed back to June because of reshoots. Then it got pushed back to August, mostly because of the pandemic. And now even further in October, it's just... I feel so bad for the people who made that movie. It just keeps getting pushed back. Same with New Mutants, but it's... I mean, it's, re it's release date still remains the same as far as I know when it, uh, I, th I believe sometime in August. So yeah, I definitely look forward to seeing those movies, but I mean, I'm sure they'll be a whole lot better than this, but yeah. So what are your thoughts on Artemis Fowl? Let me know in the comment section below and it was nice to talk about a new release, even though I wish I would have watched a better movie. But yeah, so thank you so much as always for watching and supporting my channel. I'm looking forward to doing more videos really soon. And if you want my thoughts on old or new movies, of course, you know where to find me.